very rarely do I have an example all written out. But what do I want? I want you to fill the flow. Fill the flow of solving a system by matrices. So then after we transform it into a matrices, you see we had a game plan. You've seen the other two videos. You have the game plan written down. If you haven't, annotations or links below. Those are necessary to get this. We need to get a one in the upper right hand corner. All right, it's already done for us. So then we need to kill the rest of that column. So we multiply that by a minus three. We multiply the entire row by a minus three and we add it to this row, working off the previous matrix E. And when we do that, we get 0, 7, minus 10, and 11. Then what? We need to kill that too. We multiply that one by the additive inverse, which is a minus two. So we multiply that entire row and add it to that row. The previous matrices is what determines the fate of this matrices. Bam! So when we multiply that by a minus two, and add it to this, we get that zero there, and the column is killed. Let's get down here, boom. I got a zero there, and then I have a one, zero, zero, perfect. Now, I need to get a one right there. To get a one right there, I multiply it by one seventh. I multiply that entire row by one seventh, and I recopy everything else. Nothing else is changing. Only one row is changing from matrix C to matrix C. So then, when I multiply this by one seventh, boom, I get a one right there. The desired effect. What's nasty? Fractions. Oh, cochino. So then, all right, now that I have a one there, I need to kill the rest of that column. So then I multiply this by a minus 7 because I'm trying to kill that 7 and get a 0 right there. Alright, so I multiply this, I multiply, I multiply row 2 by minus 7 and add it to row 3. The only row that's changing from matrix C to matrix C with this notation is the back one. The back one. Alright, so then I rewrite the ones that aren't changing. Then, I proceed with the operation. So it's minus 7 times row 2 plus row 3. So I multiply this entire row by 7, and I add it to that one. And that's how I get this. So now I got a 1 kill, kill, 1 kill. Now I need to kill that minus 2. So I multiply the 1 by a 2. Alright, so I 2 times row 2 plus row 1. Recopy all the rows that aren't changing. The only row that's changing is row 1. So I recopy row 2, I recopy row 3. Alright, now that we're all recopied, you do 2 times row 2 and add it to row 1. That's how we get that change. So we got a 1 kill kill, 1 kill kill. Now, we need a 1 there. To get a 1 there, I multiply that by... One. I don't know how that got to be a three. So then minus one times row three, put it back in row three. So then minus one times this entire row, put it back in that entire row. And that's how we go and we get this guy. Oh, that's just to the limits. All right, so then now I got a one kill, kill, one kill, kill, then. I need to get a one, did it? Now I need to kill, kill. So I multiply by the additive inverse. Additive inverse is 10 sevenths. So 10 sevenths row three plus row two. So I multiply this entire row by 10 sevenths and I add it to that row. And that's how I got that, all right? So then now that I'm there, boom, I need to kill that one seventh. Additive inverse. Multiply it by row three and then add it to row one. So I do minus one seventh row three, add it to row one. All right. So then when I do that, I get this. But now that last and most important step, I need to take that and I need to write it as a point. What's my point? X, Y, Z. Should we examine our zippers? Perhaps. But, <laughs> whew. I'm down on my knees. I'm looking for the answers. Are we human? Or are we dancers? Nah. That's my best dance. I'm done. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>